We've got at least four people being treated at local hospitals because of this incident, this shooting incident at the STEM School Highlands Ranch. Sheriff's deputies say that the call came in at about 145, reports of shots fired. They got on the scene very quickly, and at that point, a lot of the kids had already made their way out of the school. But once again, they're describing it, even at this hour, as an active situation. Still going through the school uh, and uh, making sure that it is indeed safe, and uh, not just impacting the STEM School Highlands Ranch, but a lot of the schools, in fact, all the schools in that big, expansive Douglas County District were on lockout and lockdown. So we're uh, not getting any more information from the school district on when parents might be able to go pick up those kids. But uh, there you see on the bottom of your screen, Sky Ridge says it has two people hospitalized. And we also heard that Littleton Adventist Hospital has two victims from this shooting. And that map, they're giving you an idea of where that school is located. Our Rick Salinger is out there at the school, so he's keeping a close eye on how things are progressing out there and what exactly is going on. We still know that we're waiting for the younger kids to be bussed out of there. We do know that there are two um, Fight for Life helicopters out there on location, just there we're being told, in case they are needed as they continue to move everybody out of the school. Rick was out there and he was talking with um, some of the seniors out there. I guess this is the last mm -hmm. week for them. They said three days left. Only a couple days yeah. left. And they were uh, in the parking lot as they were pulling up and they saw some of the sheriff's deputies run inside and then they knew about the lockdown. And they we Rick asked them specifically, have you heard of any threats? Do you know of anything? Have you heard anything over the last couple of weeks of any students that might um, have uh, have a grudge of any, yeah, right, absolutely. Any information. And the young man that he talked with said, no, absolutely not. Um, you know, of course, he said there's always little jokes about being the end of school, but nothing um, of any sort of violence. Another so, one of the other students also uh, mentioning that uh, very concerned because uh, they are hosting a French student. Yeah. A, a hosting a foreign exchange student at the STEM school, and uh, still as far inside as, the school, right? Yeah, That's that young said. man knew the uh, that uh, French student was still inside the school. So yeah. let's hope that uh, uh, four is certainly a tragic number, and uh, we're all praying that the number of victims goes no higher than that. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Once they finally declare mm -hmm. that big facility, that big school secured, only then will we know. Yeah. And we don't know. Um, we don't know what kind of injuries, how severe the in right. injuries are either yet, right? We just know four people. Four. We don't know the ages have gone to um, local medical facilities, so they will keep us updated on that. We are waiting for the Douglo, um, Douglas County Sheriff's Department to give us an update. We they have not briefed us yet as to what has taken place here today. So you know, this is information that we're just gathering from mm -hmm. on the scene and from parents and from um, you know some from the Douglas County that have uh, posted on their social media sites. But we are still waiting to have access access to them to ask them these questions we know that you want to hear as well. Yeah, one significant hard number that we can pass along, we know for sure, two people are in custody, two people are in custody, possibly, mm -hmm. possibly looking for a third.